What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be hitting some shoulders and a little triceps at Club 51 with my boy Matt. But first, I'm going to make my pre-workout meal, eat some pasta and chicken, and then I'm gonna be taking some raw pre-extreme today, code YAUK10, will save you 10%. And pretty excited, today's Friday, got the, the weekend ahead of us, and tonight is actually, or today is St. Patrick's Day. So that's kind of exciting, even though I'm, I'm really not doing anything special for St. Patrick's Day. So, we've officially made it to the gym for the viewers that requested more Davis content. What's up, Davis? What's up, James? Davis is 16, and he just turned 16 yesterday. Yeah. So he's about to get his license here soon, but we have made it to Club 51, and it's time to smash some shoulders. I'm here only because you still won't ever let me go I'm here only cause I'm aware with you is better than all alone What's up guys, Matt and I have made it to the gym Shout out to Twitch Matt, the videographer, the legend himself and we're about to just smash some shoulders. So we warmed up with some um, cable lateral raises and now we're hitting some shoulder press. We're gonna do like a three by eight with some decent weight and then go down and just burn out on some finisher sets. So, passing the camera off to Matt. Bigger, bigger and better things, but we all know it's <laughs> really where it's at, so we're standing well. Matt and I finished up our workout. Matt went at home because he's small, but I'm still here hitting a little posing in the insane posing room here at Club 51. But basically, things are going well. Um, the training's been crazy. I'm on a new split thanks to Megan. I'm doing day one, back and buys. Day two, legs, quad focus. Day three, I have chest and tries. Day four, rest but I still come in and do some, uh, like an active rest day. So I do like mobility, abs, some cardio. And then day five, which is what today was, I have some shoulders primarily with the little arms. I'm just throwing triceps in since I'm only hitting those once a week. And then day six, I think it is, I have another back and buys day, day seven, um, like a hamstring focused leg day with some like calves and like ad adductors, abductors. And then day eight is rest again. So trying something new, really trying to like build up the, the width 
I'm trying something new. I'm really trying to build up the width of my lats just to make my waist look smaller and overall to have a better shape on stage. Kind of just creating that illusion of being like having a really small waist. Even I mean, my waist is pretty small. I think like, I don't know, I'm gonna guess anywhere from like a 28 to a 30, something like that. I know that's my like pant size, but if I buy that size, then the like the quads and especially the calves like hug super tight. So really excited. Um, as I said, I've been extremely motivated lately. Um, that's pretty much pretty much it. Club 51's getting renovated. You guys will have to stay tuned and I'll show you guys that. But um, some of the boys are back from college this weekend, which should be pretty fun. I think tomorrow we're gonna go hit the golf range. We were gonna go golfing, but the high is like 28 or something or 32 or whatever. So something crazy, it's gonna be cold. So I think we'll just hit the range. And then I think our plan is Jacob and I will go hit power station, train some back, get big, awesome gym. And then just finish out the year with school, get ready to work a lot over the summer and try and put on some size. I'm already like 190 waking up in the morning and then throughout the day I you know put on a few pounds on there and that up from like so now I'm 190 when I started working with Megan I think I was like 184 185 so I've already put on a decent chunk of change <laughs> some body some body fat and hopefully some muscle under there but I'm taking creatine so that's kind of causing my water retention to, to like spike I guess to, to increase a lot but I still feel pretty good I still feel pretty lean so I got some you know pretty solid vascularity and I'm excited to see what we can put on in the next couple months and I mean perhaps like a year before I'll compete so really just put on size and then just shred down and I'm sure if it is until a year I'll if it is like a year until I compete I think most likely maybe we'll do like a or a few different like mini cuts just to kind of see where we're at and see how much signs I want to continue to put on to then pick which show we'll do. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated on that and I will see you later, probably show you guys what I eat for dinner. All right guys, I made it back home and please ignore my hair. I'm gonna get it cut in like a day or two. It's going absolutely crazy once again, but really quick, I just wanted to Give a quick shout out to my boy Matt. I know I like to give him a hard time and troll him a bit, especially on this YouTube channel, but Matt's a legend and he records like 99.9% .9 of these videos. So without him, none of this would be possible. We did just hit 4K subscribers today, which is absolutely crazy. Um, I think I started my YouTube channel like right around this time last year and we've already hit 4K. So keep it up guys. Thank you for all the support. I'm gonna keep pumping out these videos and all of this content, but none of it would be possible without Matt. So huge shout out to Matt, and also be on the lookout for Matt, cause I know he started a lifting Instagram, but he's kind of gatekeeping it right now. So once he decides to make that more public, I will definitely share that with you guys because he's already had such a crazy transformation and he's looking good. But I honestly think if he really puts the work in, he could be way bigger than than I am at my age. I mean, he's got a lot of potential, so be on the lookout for Matt. But super quick, I am about to eat dinner, but I was just gonna give you guys kind of a quick food tour, quick fridge tour, see what I'm rocking with right now. So, right off the bat, I'm gonna go with, since I'm bulking, I use this Montgomery and barbecue sauce, like for everything. Occasionally I switch it up with some ketchup, not a whole lot though. And then what I've been really rocking with lately, I'm lactose intolerant, so I've been using this lactose-free milk. And I've been throwing that in my oatmeal, which I have every day. Also, since I'm bulking, I like to indulge in some maple syrup on my oatmeal, which is really good tasting. And then, this one's kind of weird, and I know you guys are gonna be like, what? Like, doesn't he wanna like bodybuild? Why is he eating like what a 10-year-old would eat? But, my boy Logan Franklin was eating this, and I was inspired, and I realized, Applesauce is extremely easy to eat. I mean, I literally could eat like an entire one of these. I mean, obviously I don't, but super easy to eat. Really nice way to get some quick carbs in. So here's kind of the, the bread and butter of what I have been eating. Canned pears, I eat a lot of canned pears. I know that sounds weird. Some people will be like, ew, kind of nasty, but they're good. Biggest thing I've been eating, chicken. I've been doing these chicken tenders from Costco. They're really easy to make and they taste really good. And then, I'm not gonna pull it out, but we got the classic jasmine rice. I make a ton of this, I eat a ton of it. It's awesome, one of the best carb sources, and super easy to make. 
And then we've got a huge thing of pasta. Once again, I'll have to cut that out eventually, um, later, whenever I try to like diet down. But right now, pretty, pretty nice source of carbs. And then again, kind of one of my staple foods, just got some ground turkey. I eat a lot of ground turkey, pretty much. I mean, all of those foods I just showed you, I basically eat them every day. And then of course we got like carrots, peppers, like mushrooms, stuff like that. Um, bunch of things like that. I do not eat eggs. The rest of my family does, but I'm not an egg guy. Not an egg fan, never have, never will be. And then one of the last things, maybe the most controversial, I guess, I know these aren't the best. Okay, these aren't even the good ones. I don't even eat these ones, but bagels. I don't like those ones, but just in general bagels. I've been eating some bagels. They're super easy to eat and super easy to make and pack and take to school or wherever I'm headed. So those are some of my go-to food sources. I will show you guys what I have for dinner here in a few minutes when I cook it up. To start off tonight's dinner, we have 147, oh geez, 147 grams of this breaded trout. And I have 50 more, so I'm gonna eat that in a little bit. But first I'm gonna eat this and then take a shower. Next up, we got the applesauce. As I was telling you guys a little bit earlier, super easy to get some carbs in and it's like pretty cheap too, I think. All I know is it tastes good and it's easy to eat. So, got that and then lastly, I'm gonna make a bagel. Last but certainly not least, we got the bagel cooking up. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions or anything. And keep working hard, guys. The gains will come. <laughs>